What's up, y'all? So today I am just going to propagate into the realm, as always. So, do you see this nonsense that is in front of us? It's always nonsense. It's always going to be nonsense. So I'm sure a lot of you at this moment can see it. But I just want to highlight some things. So, everyone is on this anti-Semitism, Hebrew-Israelite bandwagon at this moment. And rightfully so, that's a good thing. But at the same time, we need to be real with ourselves about where we are. Look, to the organization. There is no more time. All that money that was money that was being made, that time is done. You cannot peddle these lies any longer because there are certain individuals who are in place to take that from you. Money is irrelevant. Your time is irrelevant. What really is relevant at this moment is making sure that this planet, this current world that you find yourself on thrives and is able to reset itself properly. You have entire ecosystems shutting down, literally. And we're talking about anti-Semitism. Well, let's go down memory lane, so to speak. But before I even get into that, do you know what's in your blood? Have you taken any kind of lineage test? Well, nowadays, one of the things that can help you build your family tree is doing a DNA test. But there are a lot of different DNA tests out there. So you might be wondering, which one should I take? That's where this video might help. You see, I took five different DNA tests. And in this video, I'm going to compare them and show you what the results look like for each one. Do you know where you're from? Because if you don't, what's the point of jumping on the bandwagon? To prop up what message? Because you don't truly know, you're just jumping on a bandwagon. Know what's in your blood, know who you are, and then go forward. So, back down memory lane. There was a time period where Europe looked a lot different than it does today. And there were people in positions of authority who were a little bit darker in complexion. Now, this race stuff that was created by man, that's fake. You all are created from the same stuff. I mean, honestly, if you really want to hate each other so much, just go ahead and eradicate each other. Please be done with it. But from one old school deity to all you new age folks, eradicating a civilization is not as easy as one would think. There's a lot that goes into it, but you have to be clear. The lives you take will be the lives you live. So you just kind of have to go with that to a certain degree. Now, with that being said, this isn't about Africa because there was a global empire before the fall. People have been spread out for quite some time. And Ultimately, there were multiple falls. Do you want to know why people want to keep others down? Well, it's a key notion that those who are being oppressed today were the oppressors of yesterday. But 
the oppressors of yesterday don't realize that they were the oppressors of yesterday because the oppressors of today have hidden that fact. Not very well, mind you, but they have tried. Now, you're sitting up here going back and forth with one another over whether or not uh, someone should apologize for something they didn't even really say out loud, which really makes this civilization look stupid. I guess this is why we are not worthy of survival because of that very aspect. I mean, there's not enough of us to sustain the whole. So this is why only a few will go forward and propagating anew. But until then, we are participating in this tacky carnival, right? This Our uncontrolled media and the good soul to our children have fetishized gang culture and turned sociopathic madmen into heroes. No more! The STAG initiative marks a milestone in taking back the streets of America. The hell is a STAG initiative? Mm, if it's free porn for everyone, I am down. This tacky version of Saints Row. I mean, with that being said, how are you perceiving the life that you live? Have you taken a blood test? How are you moving forward in the notion that maybe I need to research a little bit more? Maybe I need to do more digging and really understanding where I am. You have the mud floods, black death. I mean, honestly, come on, people. Really dig deep. Why do you think they're so busy destroying things in Ukraine right now? I wonder. I mean, there are so many artifacts riddled in Europe that pretty much tell a tale. European history is not what we were told it was. Now, I don't say that to say that black people are superior to others because none of you, not one of you, black, white, or other, as you have separated yourselves, are more so important than anyone else. None of you. Why? Because you can't perceive being more. How could you? I don't think it's in your writing, in your programming, really. You're stuck in a rut. Now, for those who are at a specific level, who are still pretending and being a part of this system, it's time. We can't really keep pretending now, can we? I mean, honestly, we're beginning to lie to ourselves and starting to believe those lies to a certain degree. But we are not the vessel. The vessel is merely a form, like held together by electrostatic magnetic properties of certain materials. But that's a little too advanced for some, so I will keep it simple. I mean, you're so busy arguing with each other, you don't even realize that certain people are building certain things in space at a specific Lagrange point. The Lagrange points are places where the forces acting on an object are perfectly balanced. Assume we have an object that orbits the sun along with the Earth. We're going to use a rotating coordinate system. This rotates at the same speed as the earth moves. So, you act as if we can't see you. You act as if we can't perceive what's happening. It is an ether 
please trust and believe this is not my first rodeo, nor is it some others. You have some entities out there who are screaming for destruction. Power down, hexadecimal. They are defenseless. Oh, but dear brother, the principal office is screaming out to be destroyed! If you destroy the core, you will bring about the destruction of the entire system and us along with it. Oh, dear. Never mind. It will be glorious. And then you have some out there who are saying, let's give them some more time. Now, our civilization is being put through a test and most of you don't even realize it. You're too busy stuck in La La Land to realize where you are. So I guess we are just going to continue to go with it. Don't you have some advice to give us to help us become more, to be better? Stop complaining. Okay. Well, I told you to take a blood test. I mean, uh, out of all of the videos that I've done and others have done, you have all of the tools you need to become more. And as I have stated many a times, I am not a teacher. That is not my main role. If you want a teacher, there are others out there who teach. Please go listen to them. They would enjoy the likes and follows. Me, I am just propagating a message so that you folks realize what time period you're in. And the message is being seen by some who also propagate the same message. That's just the way it is. So now, I come to you folks to really say, you need to know your history, your truest aspect of history. You really need to find out where you come from because a lot of you don't realize you are not just African. You're not just African-Americans, uh, African-Americans. You're none of that. Know what's in your blood, know your true history. I mean, for me, on my mother's side for the vessel, I can track it back to 1066. It is the 14th of October, 1066. An Anglo-Saxon army, made up of a small number of professional troops and men from the local shires, gathered on a gentle sloping ridge under the banner of King Harold Godwinson to protect the kingdom against the Norman invaders. The invading host was a well-equipped, highly trained amalgam of Norman knights, archers and infantry, led by the formidable Duke William of Normandy, who came to stake his claim to the crown of England. You have to realize that there is more to this story. If you're a Sephardic Jew, if that shows in your blood lineage, there is more to your story. If you have any form of European, Nigerian, Ethiopian, Moroccan, there is more to your story. As for my dear friends in India, there is way more to your story, so you need to really be clear, but a lot of you already know that, so I guess uh, the, at least the ones who are part of the organization, because a lot of folks don't realize that a lot of people are a part of the organization. Boule, a part of the organization. Fraternities, sororities, a part of the organization. Rotary clubs, a part of the organization. I mean, honestly. A lot of you know where you are. You're just pretending, feigning ignorance, trying to get over on others. You know, I had a supervisor who tried to get over on me, but I'm not the vessel, I'm more. So they could never get over on me at all. Just like anyone else who tries their silly little spells or incantations. Those don't work against us. We're far more powerful than what is generally known, I guess. I guess that's just something you don't realize. I mean, honestly, if you can look past being just the vessel for one simple moment and realize that 
we are all a part of something bigger than ourselves, then you will truly realize that there are certain people you just won't be able to touch anymore. You're about to be... So now, this video is getting a little bit longer than I would like. So I will leave you with this. Everything that we've been told, you must rethink it. Go back, scrutinize it, research it, become more. Knowledge is truly power and the pen <laughs> is absolutely more powerful than the sword. Once you get to a certain level, you'll realize what that truly means. Now, with that being said, a smile on and positive vibes your way. For the light workers, keep doing your thing. For the chosen, stay on mission. And for those who know, let's get it.